power to get wealth. And by privilege, I'm continuing that series. Power to get wealth, part two. We saw last week the anchor scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, which read, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which is swore unto thy father. As it is this day. Hallelujah. And we were made to believe that the power to get wealth is the blessing of God. It said the blessing of God makes rich and adds no sorrow. Proverbs 10 22. So we can therefore say that the power to get wealth is the blessing. The power to get wealth is the blessing. To carry us further, we'll be looking at some fund fundamental truths of wealth. Some fundamental truths of wealth. It's important we understand. Because when we lack understanding, we cannot operate fully in this. Number one, first we must know that wealth comes from God and belongs to him. Wealth comes from God and belongs to him. James 1.17 tells us, Every good and perfect gift comes from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So every wealth comes from God and is for him. So if we are privileged and we assess that world, we are only custodian. We are only stewards. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein. So, it is not only the world that is the Lord. Everyone that dwells on earth here yeah, belongs to him. Hallelujah. He says silver is mine and gold is mine. In Genesis chapter 24, we saw how the Bible said he blessed Abraham in all things. He, God, he, God, blessed Abraham in all things. He blessed him. So, the wealth we are talking of here is from the Father and belongs to him. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 31 verse 1, the Bible said, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, he said, I have called by name Bezalel. We are talking of skill here. Oh, you might think that that skill is yours. No. It belongs to him. He gave you the skill. And that skill is for him. I remember one time God said, if you have any skill that you cannot use in the house of God, you are filled. Every skill that God has given to you is from God and it belongs to him. It is from God and it belongs to him. That is why Jeremiah, in Jeremiah chapter 9, 23 to 24, he said, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, Neither let the mighty glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glory, glory in this. That he understands and knoweth me. That I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment and righteousness. In the earth. Why? He owns them. So if there is any grace you have received, please. It's important we know that that grace belongs to God. It is first from him and it belongs to him. Hallelujah. If we understand these fundamentals and we are blessed, we'll be careful how to use it. But if you do not understand, you think that it is your strength that gave you, you will abuse it. That is why many people have become instruments in the hands of the devil. Many have become instruments in the hands of the devil. And that is why Many people or many Christians think that it is better to remain poor. But the truth is this. Poverty is not of God. But because God is not poor. If he is poor, he will not say the silver is mine, the gold is mine. God is not poor. And so if God is not poor, how can his descendants or his children become poor? Hallelujah. Number two, we need to know 
All blessings come from God through men to men. All blessings come from God through men to men. I remember when I went to Oak Plaza as a security coordinator. And I found favor with God and with the general manager who said, Joshua, I don't want you to live here as a security person. I want you to live here as a hotelier. All blessings come from God through men to men. God knows my heart. And he realized that, look, he wants to bless me, but how would he bless me? He gave me a general manager whom I found favor before and she gave me opportunities, so many opportunities. Before I left that place, I became a hotelier such that I consult for certain hotels. Colleagues of mine who I knew them to be security managers are still security managers. When we meet at the table of security managers meeting, they talk security, I talk hotel. I talk hospitality, they talk only security. Why they were not blessed in that way? But God blessed me through that woman, it's a gumpo. The Lord bless her wherever she is. Hallelujah. We had salvation through man. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world and he gave man so man can have salvation. So God bless us through man. Brethren, if we have this understanding, we'll be careful how we relate to man. Because God will not pour the blessings from above unto you direct. No, money will not pour direct on your laps. But he uses men. He uses men. He uses men. Hallelujah. You might be living your life anyhow until you meet a man who will tell you that no. This kind of food you eat at this time of the day will not help you. Because sometimes when God reveals them to you, you will not understand them. So he need to use men to teach you. Hallelujah. Was it not Reverend Albert? Through whom today this ministry has printed so many books. I remember our first attempt. God servant sold his laptop and the person chopped the money. We had wanted to go to the police station. It didn't work. But as God, by grace, gave us link to Reverend Albert, in one of the discussions, he said, when Jesus multiplied that bread, he said, let them gather in fifties. Oh, just by that statement, we realized that you can print the books in fifties. And that was how we began. See today, the number of books printed in this ministry. Hallelujah. So God blessing come through God. I mean through men to men. Hallelujah. In Psalm 105 verse 37, Bible said, He brought them forth also with silver and gold. And there was not one feeble person among them. But how did he give them the silver and gold? They didn't see it gathered on a mountain they went to collect. No. He said to Abraham, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when they go, ye shall not go empty. But every man shall borrow of a neighbor and of her that sojourn in her house. Jewels of silver and jewels of gold and remnant. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21 to 20. God said, I will do it. But he didn't do it himself. When he wanted to rescue Israel, was it not through Moses? Hello? Is somebody there? He rescued Israel through Moses. He didn't come himself. He didn't come himself personally, physically to rescue them. But he rescued Israel through Moses. So we must understand that the blessings of God is through man to man. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 6 verse 38, he said, Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed and shaking together. Running over, shout, who? Men, give unto you. So God bless us through men. 